All right, let's talk about what's going on with Lightyear. Some new stuff that just popped up from Tim Allen. But before I go into that, look at this latest cash grab from Disney. This is messed up. So the most expensive drink in the galaxy, the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge on the Disney Wish has a $5,000 Kyber Crystal drink. So if you didn't know, there's the Star Wars Galactic Hotel Cruiser whatever. It looks awful. I've done videos on it. Other people, Drunk 3PO has really done a great job covering that, actually. Um, It's expensive, outrageously expensive. It's like $6,000 for two people for the weekend. It's crazy. So if you go and hang out in their bar, they have a $5,000 drink, which is literally, as this person right here says, a $10 shot marked up to $5,000. I'm going to play a little bit of it. No sound, because you don't need it. This is it. So they have a Star Wars prop with some dry ice, and then boom, there's two shots and a bigger drink. I'm guessing you're supposed to pour those into the bigger drink. Oh, no, there's three shots. And then this one drink here in the middle. $5,000 for that. So basically, you can go in there, and you can look like a baller or something if you can get that. Isn't that ridiculous? And, like... People celebrate this stuff. So that is a hell of a cash grab from Disney. Well done. Well done. That is quite the grift for Star Wars. Five grand for literally a $10 drink. Just because they put it in this in this Star Wars container. So that's that's pretty hilarious. Now, on to, on to Lightyear, which has been a disaster. Uh, this movie is a huge flop. Disney has lost massive amounts of money on this movie, and it's hilarious to watch it crash and burn because of two reasons. This movie failed for two reasons. One, Tim Allen, not involved with the movie. There is no Buzz Lightyear without Tim Allen, in my opinion. I think a lot of people share it. Regardless, this movie would have made more money if he had been involved. I don't know if it would have made a lot more. It's tough to say, but it would have made more than... $51.7 $51.7 million in North America. As they put here, that's a major flop. The other reason the plot didn't make any sense, uh, I saw two or three trailers for that movie, and I really just did not get what's going on. And audiences were weary. What was the main thing? So I guess three reasons. What was the main thing you heard when this movie came out? I heard more about the two women that were in a relationship, and apparently that's only like a five-second scene, than I did about the actual plot. They tried to make the movie's controversy a reason to see it, and that's not just, just not going to work. This is why movies like this is why movies like Top Gun did so well, and you're going to see that there is an there is an audience that's hungry for a a, fr- a family friendly kids movie. When this Minions Rise of Gru comes out, this movie is going to make a shitload of money. They're projecting $150 million, which would be pretty good for a movie like this. Uh, Just from the name alone, I know what the plot is. It's his origin story, him rising to power. And how how he met the Minions, that's my guess. I'm probably pretty close to what the actual plot is, and I haven't even seen a trailer for this. <laughs> now, con- compare that to Lightyear, which was a f- uh, an effing mess. Okay, so, yeah, one of the reasons right there why, like, this flop. So this movie's going to make a bunch of money showing that families want movies. This is why Sonic the Hedgehog 2 did good. Uh, Lightyear was a flop because families are like, so why would I, this movie's just about two females, like, in a relationship? What, why am I going to see this? They could have just not made a big deal about it, but because the plot's so damn confusing, or maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't know the plot to Lightyear because it's a mess, and I don't have no interest in seeing it. But Tim Allen wanted to do something different and was originally in talks to be in this movie. It has no relationship to Buzz. Tim Allen slams new Lightyear movie after the conservative star was axed from Disney film that flopped an opening weekend. Interesting stuff here. I'm not going to go through all this. I did watch this video that they're quoting. 
It's from a seven, it's eight minute video from Extra. And he says basically they just dropped him and it's a whole new team. The people that worked on this had nothing to do with the previous four movies. Tim Allen criticized the new Lightyear film, which saw the conservative actor replaced with Chris Evans in voicing Buzz Lightyear. Allen had previously voiced Buzz in all four of the original Toy Story films from 1995 to 2019 alongside Tim Allen, who voiced Cowboy Woody. He said while he was in discussions about a movie for his character, he was eventually dropped by a new team heading the project. That's the really interesting thing there. So he originally was going to be in this movie, but whoever took this over was like, now nah, we're going to go in a different direction. That team should be fired. Whoever took over this project uh, obviously has no idea what the hell they're doing and makes awful garbage. But it doesn't matter what I think, even though that would be a good business move. Like These people that fail keep getting... They fail upwards. You see it time and time again with Hollywood. It's a problem with Hollywood because you see people like the Batwoman team, right? That awful CW show. Uh, That show got canceled, but don't worry. They completely failed upward to that Gotham Knights CW show. The whole whole production team, from what I understand, there's the writers and everybody. Uh, They now get Gotham Knights. So they all failed upward. This is a pro- that's Hollywood in a nutshell, right there. TLD hard nut Hollywood. Uh, they keep taking people with no talent and moving them all over the place. You want to know why most wh- most of Western media sucks? It's because of that. They keep the same people as long as they politically align. No problems. Uh, last weekend, Lightyear flopped in its first weekend in theaters with the new Toy Story spinoff earning only fifty one point seven million in the new in North America. And a major flop comes after the comedian Allen and his sitcom Lost Man, Last Man Standing canceled by network ABC in 2017, despite it being one of the most popular shows at the time. Yeah, that's that did happen. Uh, that was a real thing. Last Man Standing had great ratings, and they canceled it. A lot of people speculate that it's because of his conservative political stance and that he does not shy away from it. Uh, but the problem... And it might just be maybe this team didn't want to work with him because he's a conservative. Now, Disney, they still work with him because, like I said in a previous video, he is on that Santa Santa Claus Disney Plus show, which I think is about him passing the torch. So maybe that's why he's still involved. But, I mean, we'll see how much he's involved in it. I'll probably watch that because I like Tim Allen. But... Uh, if it's about him passing the torch, it'll be interesting to see what the hell that project is about and what the story is there. Who is he going to pass the torch to? I'm sure she'll be a fine Santa Claus. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to continue this discussion and have some discussions about things we can't really talk about on YouTube, I highly suggest coming over to my locals. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build. It's free to come check it out. And if you don't want to support me on YouTube because you don't want to give Susan any money, you can come over here. It's a great platform. Come check it out. I've got exclusive content over there. And we can actually have some pretty spicy conversations. So check that out. Leave a comment. Also, share this video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe for new. Throw a like up. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.